Yes, we're here to talk about crazy shit. Um, but first, an announcement. Every single one of you will become a cyborg. Everyone. Everyone in this room, look up from your phones, unless you're taking a photo with it, so that you clock this message. You will become a cyborg. And we've got 12 minutes to either convince you of that or convince you we're completely crazy. We know that there's more around us than our five senses can detect. When we walk around outside, there's ultraviolet light and infrared and x-rays. There's all kinds of particulate matter in the air. There's the electromagnetic field of the planet. And we walk through this completely oblivious, completely oblivious to everything that's around us. And why is that? Because biological evolution is cruel. It's slow. But I'm here to remind you that we live outside of biological evolution. I don't use my eyes to scan the horizon for a wild animal that might attack me. I watch Netflix. I don't use my ears to hear if somebody's sneaking up behind me. I listen to music. I use my taste buds because food is delicious. I don't go to a restaurant and order 700 calories plus some extra vitamin C and essential minerals. I order food for taste. We don't even use our five senses for their intended purposes. So the real madness started a year ago when myself and Scott Cohen inserted two titanium rods in our chest. And we attached this amazing piece of technology made out of more than 200 little components called the North Sense. And this is how Should it we looks. show you? Okay, so this thing is permanently attached to our body. And this thing does one simple thing that has a huge impact on our life. It vibrates each time we hit the Earth magnetic field, each time we face North. Now you would say, okay, so you know where that north is. What would be the big difference? But knowing that north is there, I know that this is the way that I enter my house. I know that this is the way that my kid enters his school. And endless memories that were created with the north sense since I have it. The north sense, yes, I have a compass on my phone because a lot of people say, leave you, but you have one, it's in your phone. But the one that I have in my phone is a tool. I need to make a deliberate decision to take it out of my pocket, to use it. And then when I'm done, I'll put it back. I don't ask the North Sense, or it doesn't ask me if I'm interested to know where the North is. It's just happening. As you are not asking your senses when to hear or when to taste, or you don't ask them when to not do that. So let's try a little bit of a, a thought experiment, okay? Everyone's here, and you all have your five senses. But what if we were to take them away? We take them away one at a time. We take away your smell, and we take away your taste, and your sight. We take away your hearing, and your touch. And now you're sitting there. You still have your brain, your memories, you have all of your intellect, but could you have any connections? Could you connect with me in any way? Could you connect with the people around you? Could you connect with your environment? Without your senses, you have no connections. So imagine you start to add them back in. We put back your smell. We bring back your hearing. Let's stop there. With just your smell and your hearing, could you begin to have a connection? Could you begin to sense what's around you, have a connection with people? And now we keep adding on back your taste and your sight and your touch. And every time you add a new sense, the connections to the people in your life and your environment get deeper and deeper. So our thought was, what would happen if you didn't stop at five and you added a sixth sense? Would you therefore get a deeper connection? And I can answer the Yes, absolutely. You get a deeper connection when you add another sense to your repertoire. So when we launched 
this in February of this year, we needed not just to have us two do it, because it's kind of a kind of a brutal thing to put a couple of titanium rods in your chest. It's not something everyone's going to do. So we needed a bit of a proof of concept. Could anyone else do this? Would anyone be crazy enough to actually attach a new sense to their body permanently? So in February, we thought, OK, if we can get, I don't know, 10, 12 people to try this, we'll call that a success. We didn't get 10 or 12 people to do it. When we launched in February, we had 200 people do it. These weren't crazy people with, not that they're crazy, but we didn't get crazy people with tattoos and extreme piercings and body modification. No, the people that did this to themselves were doctors, lawyers, university professors. We had a human rights activist from Manchester, and we even had an astronaut. Now, if you think about it, every industry that we, that we have in this world, and a lot of them are exhibiting here, all of them exist because we have senses. There was that time that we walked in a forest and we heard the birds singing, and then we invented music, but it didn't stop there. We invented headphones, we invented concerts, we invented downloading music, we invented speakers. Everything that has to do with music happens because we can hear. Food is the same. People will say, yes, you eat to survive. Not really, because then you could eat tasteless cubes of proteins and other things that you need. But no, he's vegan. I'm vegetarian. Some people eat this. Some people eat that. We all have different tastes. So we have the food industry suddenly. So what's going to happen with us next? We're going to move basically do, do the same move that the phones industry did when they came out in the beginning they were the mobile industry and then they became the smartphone industry where you can add a lot of things to the device that you have so the same thing is going to happen with the north sense the north sense is going to connect you and answer every question that starts with where and one of the good examples could be the VR experience that we all like and a lot of people exhibit it here. But when you put the VR headset on your head, the one thing that immediately happens is that you completely lose any sense of orientation. You're not in the place that you were and you don't know when you turn around, where am I? Imagine you could start feeling that and sensing it. You know, imagine watching a film with the North Sense, something like Titanic. Who's seen Titanic? You haven't seen Titanic? Oh, okay, everyone slowly put up the, all right, I saw it. Okay, you, imagine watching Titanic. You could watch the same film in black and white. It's fine, you, you'd follow the storyline, you'd see all the action, you might even shed a tear at the end. But if you watched it in color, it would be a much richer experience. Seeing it in color is better than watching it in black and white. But what if the filmmaker also created something so that if you watched it and had the north sense, you knew that when she was hanging over the bow of the boat, she was facing west because you felt it. You felt it. When they're on the dance floor in the ballroom and they're spinning around, you would feel all of that motion. Sure, you could watch the regular old color version, but imagine if you had a new sense and people started creating experiences around it. Navigation. Yes, a huge thing for humanity in the 21st century. We all use a lot of navigation apps, but how does that work? We are attached to that screen. And we want to say one thing today. We want our eyes back because they were not meant to stare at a screen when we walk on the street. We are supposed to enjoy nature. We are supposed to create. We are supposed to live and see what, where we are going. So that's going to end because the North Sense will help you navigate from any place to any place without the screen. Yeah, um, imagine a device that we have that actually it's a device that doesn't have a screen. It doesn't have a, an on-off switch. And no it lights. 
no buttons, no sound. You're getting pure information and your brain is processing all of that. I don't want to live in a world where for the rest of my life I'm walking down the street staring at a device. And this is step one for us. So before we leave, I want to ask you a few questions because I've been cruising around, seeing all of the uh, exhibitors, listening to the talks, people talking about artificial intelligence and machine learning, and it's really amazing. But my question is, if we're spending so much time and so much effort and so much money on making our phones smarter and are making our homes smarter and a fucking drone smarter, why aren't we investing the same amount of time, energy, and money into humans to make us better? So thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys.